prevent frost damage in your apple orchard, one of the simplest things to do is to head out into the orchard armed just with a sharp razor blade. You can also accomplish this actually just by pinching off the flowers with your fingers. But your goal here is really to cut through the flower and expose some of that sensitive tissue. You're looking at yellow anthers here and healthy green tissue across the flower. In, in the center, you can see where I've cut through the styler tissue and that's all green and healthy. And that's indicative of there being no damage whatsoever um, and no worries for, uh, for fruit set if your flowers do look like that. And now we cut through an accessory bloom here and it's quite distinct. You can see the dark discoloration of the styler tissue in the section that's been cut through. Um, around it, of course, there's healthy tissue, but the female portion tends to be the most sensitive. And if you cut through your flowers and you see this dark discolored styler tissue, you can be sure that this is uh, due to some cold damage and these flowers clearly will be unable to be fertilized and will reduce crop load. So let's just take through a look at another flower here. Um, now this one's a little bit different altogether. The first was alive, the second had damage, and now this third one is actually something intermediate. You can see that the styler tissue is discolored here in the center of the flower. This is what you're looking for. Um, and yet it's not as dark as that previous one. If I scrape a bit more tissue away, you can reveal the styler tissue uh, even more. And again, you can see that there is a discoloration here. So this is important to note that there isn't always a, an obvious clear answer as there were for those first two flowers. I suppose that if you were being conservative, uh, you should probably consider these flowers when you have this lighter brown discoloration is also being cold damaged and unable to be fertilized. And there is healthy tissue around it, of course, the green of the filaments. And um, you can see that the anthers are, are yellow surrounding the, the styler tissue as well and healthy. So really, you're cutting through flowers, you're looking for any dark discoloration that is a sure sign of cold damage. So if we cut through just one more flower here, we'll see what the condition of this is. Again, I'm just making a cross section through a wide portion of the flower uh, to reveal the, the tissue's interior. Here again, healthy green styler tissue, not to be concerned about We've cut a few through earlier, and this is more towards the basal portions of the flowers, and again, quite obvious on the left, a healthy live flower. On the right, that brown discoloration indicative of frost damage. Now, another approach is to cut through longitudinally, and you can see if you start from the base, as indicated here, and you cut through to the end of the petals, you can reveal the ovaries and, and the ovules within, in fact, here you can see. The advantage here is that you can see the entire length of the style, and here, you can see that if we had made a cross section through here, we might have missed this damage that's just at the tips of the style, just beneath the stigmatic surfaces. There's that discoloration. This is also indicative of damage, and flowers looking like this would probably be unable to recover and would not be able to be properly pollinated and fertilized.